As they sing the traditional song for women, Leona Simon says she feels whole. She's a member of the youth panel at the National Inquiry. Her aunt, Gladys Simon, went missing in 2004. She had been out on a pass from a hospital that provides mental health services. We found partial remains eight years after uh, in a water reservoir. Police ruled there was no foul play, but Simon says there are still many questions about what happened to her aunt and why. I'm here to tell her story so that people can um, know when, and for her to be heard. Moncton was the first place on the National Inquiry's tour where younger people had a chance to share their own experiences publicly. They came from a generation of a residential school uh, impact or era, uh, sexual abuse or poverty and so on, and they break that cycle. And on the day the Prime Minister announced new legal framework for Indigenous people, the younger generation in New Brunswick was asked to share ideas about what would make a better future. My family's vision is to eventually have uh, mental health facilities to, um, so we can take care of our own. 21-year-old Madison Donovan has suffered violence herself and wants the stereotypes to stop. Just another Aboriginal woman who's been abused. Oh, it's typical. I want it to end. Alan Sabatis' cousin Jade was found dead one year ago. He acknowledges the progress toward reconciliation, but says neither today's announcement nor the inquiry's youth panel are enough. I see it as uh, reconciliation. action, so we have to take all of these things that you know the government's saying or all these organizations are saying and put them to action. They left feeling their voices have been heard and hopeful that the National Inquiry will bring about real change. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Moncton.